Okay guys, this is how we are going to solve this myth. Yeah, if you read the first and the second statement carefully, first read the first statement, it says one digit is right but in the wrong place. If you read the second statement, it says one digit is right but in its place. Here are the keywords, one digit, one digit and its place meaning correct place and wrong place. And if you look here at these digits, 147 and 189, you can clearly see, you can clearly see that you have to eliminate one. Because there is no way one is going to be at the correct position and said he is also at the wrong position, whilst he is occupying at the first position. So we are going to eliminate one. I am going to say it again, we are going to eliminate one because it says one digit is at the wrong place and it says it is at the correct place. But if you look here, you can tell that one is occupying at the first position. So there is no way that is going to be at the correct place and also in the wrong place whilst it is occupying the first position. That is why I eliminated one and we are left with 4789. This is crucial guys. If you understand this part, you are going to understand this part. Uh, the last statement says one digit is right but in the wrong place. We have 2, we have 8, we have 6. And 2 is eliminated. Why? The fourth statement says all digits are wrong. So we are saying 5, 2 and 3 are wrong. So if 2 is wrong, it means also this one is wrong. And 5 is also wrong, we don't have 5 and 3 is wrong, so we are not going to use these digits. Now we have 8 and 6, 9, 6, 4, 8, 9, 4, 7. We are going to eliminate 8. How? If you look, it says one digit is right but in the wrong place. 8 is occupying the second position, same here, 8 is also occupying the same position. But if you read the second statement, it says one digit is right in its place. Here it says one digit is right, but it's the wrong place. First, it is occupying the same position. Second position, second position. There's no way it's going to be at the right position. And also, the same thing is also at the wrong position. So, it is automatically eliminated. We limit it eight, we limit eight. I'm going to repeat this statement. I have limited eight because. It says one digit is right in its place. We had 8 and 9. And 8 was occupying the second position, 9 was occupying the third position. Here 8 is also occupying the second position. And here the 6. But if it was correct, the server should have said it is a wrong place. And it says it is a, on the right place. So that is why I limited the 8. I hope you understand what I'm trying to explain. We are left with 6, 9, 4, and 7. Now we know that 6 is a correct figure, and we also know that 9 is a correct figure. If we go to the third statement, it says 2 digits are correct, but both are in wrong place. So, so far, the 2 digits that we are know, we are certain that they are correct, is 6 and 9. 6 and 9. So if 6 and 9 are correct, and the statement says only 2 digits, if 9 and 6 are correct, it means 4 is wrong. And if we cancel 4, we are left only with 9, 6 and 7. However, it says, the second statement says 9, a 1 digit is right and in its place. So means 9 is occupying the last position and uh, it says uh, one digit is right but in the wrong place. So if 9 is occupying the last position, 6 is said to be right but in the wrong position. Uh, here also it says two digits are correct but in the wrong position or wrong place. We know that 9 should go to the last and 6 if said is wrong at the second, 
he said also is wrong a third it means six is occupying the first position and we are left with seven the seven making it six seven nine that's the final answer